and welcome back to Nas Moss OSR Old School Rotaries and check out what we got in today yep these are the 10 AI rotor housings uh, they're used but nevertheless they're good 10 a rotor housings uh, the cat that I bought them from I had them measure it before I had them uh, you know send them out to me but uh, before we get right into it I uh, just want to go ahead and give you guys a little background those of you who probably haven't watched uh, this video here and uh, basically out of the two 10a engines that I tore down um, only had a uh, one good rotor housing so out of the four rotor housings only one was good so uh, I'm gonna be left with one rotor housing which you know ain't mad at that I don't mind having spare 10a parts but uh, yeah so basically um, I had to source out these uh, 10a rotor housings it wasn't easy it was tough and uh this one dude i, I got him from uh boy was he expensive um he wasn't budging he wasn't cheap and um those of you are wondering how much i paid for these well let's put it this way it cost me a kidney to pretty much get these right here on my table so uh it wasn't cheap so uh without any further ado yeah let's get right into it Now, uh, once I brought them out the box, I did go ahead and um, check them out just, you know, just to make sure everything was good. Uh, I did measure them; everything checked out good. Uh, these are a, in a lot better shape than uh, than my other uh, 10A rotor housings. Obviously, these don't have any shrinkage around. The numbers are very consistent, and um, I did visually inspect them. Uh, the chrome is clean. Now I did find a couple chips along the edge. Um, there's some chip, chipping here. Uh, there's a lot of chipping around the edge. I guess it's just from the way it was they were handled or, or whatnot. But uh, there's some right here. It's like a little dent and a little chip. But um, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, just try to round it off. Not take too much off, but just try to round it off enough to where like the apex seal won't get caught on there or uh, cause any shaving on the apex seal. Uh, just around the edge, it's pretty, it's pretty rough. But um, for the amount that I paid, uh, I am being kind of picky. I do expect, you know, 
some better with no chipping or nothing like that like i said uh these weren't cheap but unfortunately it is what it is I already paid for them they're here at home and uh in my honest opinion it just can't get any better than that i mean these are uh some pretty old um rotor housings 50 years plus so can't complain too much but uh yeah i just uh, went ahead and checked the, all the edges uh there's no there's no corrosion there's no uh, well this one does have a little ele electrosis uh in here um a little bit of corrosion but nothing too too major to where like uh it won't be reusable i just gotta clean that out make sure i dry a uh, wire brush up in there and make sure i get rid of all that electrosis in there um i did find uh some rust on this one this one's like really clean this one looks new and the numbers on this one when i was measuring it they were like 59.99 uh, yeah i just wanted it uh let you guys know about the visual inspection uh the chrome is i'm gonna say it's like 99 percent clean uh it's not perfect again these are some used rotor housings uh it's just you know uh, they weren't cheap so uh yeah so like right here there's you know it's a little rust here and there but uh it doesn't get any better than this guys uh, uh right here with the oil uh, oil um where the water jacket rings go uh they're, they're clean uh there's no corrosion all around this one's like this is like semi-new i mean this one probably came from a low uh mileage engine uh but i got a spark plug here too so anytime you guys uh buy anything online or or anything uh that you can't see personally once you get it home, you want to make sure everything's working properly or everything's in good shape. So, so you guys can see um, the spark plug holes are working. And, you know, it's just something you guys want to do. You want to make sure everything's working properly. Um, the threading in here, uh, they're good. Um, I still got to check and see if, uh, if they're warped or not. But uh, pretty much everything's looking good so far all right so there you have it uh we're back in business uh we got the 10a rotor houses we got the rotor center shaft we got everything we need on the table now so uh i can't wait for this build it's gonna have to wait though because i need to finish that dash because um uh, well the guys at the body shop they, they they called me up and they said that um uh my car's next in line to get painted so uh i need to finish up that dash make sure that dash is uh it's ready to go so once the car gets sprayed um that dash could go in that's got to be one of the first thing that needs to go in before we put the windshields and all that stuff but we'll we'll get more in, more into that but uh, i just wanted to show you guys uh the boxing on the 10a bro housing so i haven't given up uh we're not giving up so the r100 is going to run with the 10a after all so uh just wanted to share that with you guys and uh if you haven't subscribed go ahead and subscribe hit that like button and hit that bell for notification guys so uh there you go there you have it thanks for watching